What up, guys? Uh, Jason, Flow Packs. So I'm making a quick video um, about my spools. There's a misconception about them, and I want to clear it up, get things straightened out. But first, I got to show you this, man. Big shout out to my son, Brad. I love you to death, man. These are just taped on for right now, just so I can get placement and see what they look like. But I told him to make me a single exhaust. I was going to put it on the side. He came out with this and made the blower. I know RPM makes one, but I like this one. It's customized. Got the belt. Man, this kid, man. Anything I tell him I need, he just blows my mind. The uh, IGTA, I cut it. Let me grab it up for you and show you real quick. So I cut the receiver off the servo because it stuck way out here. But I wanted to use the same top piece, so he designed me a box for it. Fits perfect. Lid comes off like it should. Let me see if I could do this one here holding it. Lid comes off. Pops down over the plug. Boom. Now it'll fit in there and it won't stick into the bottom battery tray. I mean, this kit is just anything I ask of them, man. Top notch. Check out those battery trays, guys. All that. I cut everything myself. Look. Everything's perfect. When you're cutting carbon fiber, take your time. Everything's perfect. There's a nice gap in there, so it'll be all right. But take your time, man. One little off cut. Make sure you measure each side. I've seen some, seen some carbon fiber where one side's different. Put them together when you cut them. Cut two squares, put them together, cut it one time. You'll have two pieces. But it's going to be for the airflow. I like it. But there's the uh, RX holder. Now, let me put this car away so it don't fall down real quick. And let me go over my spool. So... There's nothing more than I hate than watching an hour-long video of someone just sitting there. It's just, I hate that. No one wants to do it, and I understand why they're doing it. They're trying to get uh, YouTube minutes. The longer the videos, the more uh, advertisement you'll get, the more blah, blah, blah. I I'm not trying to make it rich off uh, YouTube, man. I make these videos to show people my stuff and to try to help someone out um no one wanted to talk about some of the stuff i was putting it out there and i just decided i don't care i'll put it out there don't bother me so everything's taken apart you don't need two hours or an hour and a half of taking everything off the car all right so here's my spool smooth as butter no wobbling let me take this down real quick to show you no wobbling, no nothing. Everything's smooth as ever. I got some messages this week saying, hey, Jay, um, I watched Earl. Man, I can never remember his name. Wood, uh, Morewood or Moorhead or something like that. He did a video with your spool and he had to cut this and cut this and sand that and sand that. And I said, no, that's not true. Yeah, yeah, you know, Earl, he had to do it on two of his cars, um, and, and it's absolutely not true. I wish Earl would have just hit me up. Thank you, Earl. I'm not making this to bash you in any way. Thank you for supporting and buying the spools, but there is a simpler way, and um, it slips some people's minds. It, it just, you're looking at it, and you're thinking, it, it's an illusion. It's a mind fuck. So, that's why I'm making this video. You will not have to cut anything. You will not have to uh, sand anything. Now, that being said, let me take this out and I'll show you. You know what? Hold on. This is my spool and I don't want anybody to think, oh yeah, Jason's spool is different than ours, whatever. So, I have a customer spool right here. It's going out tomorrow. I'll take it out. I'm going to start with this bad boy. If I scratch it or whatever, I'll just have to get a new one out of the drawer for the guy so um so here's the spool right here all right this is what we're going to practice on or, or hook it up on now you may have to on this rear brace sand it down just a little bit or 
let your cup chew through it. This metal cup will chew through that in half a pass, you know, 20 miles per hour. It'll chew its little mark through there. You don't need to take off a whole lot, just a tiny, tiny bit. So that being said, let me go over the spool with you. So the spools are all cut to length. Every piece to my spool is cut to length. Let me try to find these pieces here. Uh, so all the spacers, everything, they're all the same size. Everything's the same with these, all right, guys? Nothing is different. Everybody's got the same one. And I've had a couple people. It wasn't just a roll. I've had people tell me, hey, man, this don't fit. And once I explained it to them, they hit me back up. Man, I can't believe it was that easy. I tell them it's all about cup placement. These cups on the end, it's all about the placement. So cup long sleeve bearing sleeve sleeve bearing this is not just for looks o-ring the reason the o-ring's there let me loosen this up and i'll show you so the reason the o-ring is there let me take this off so you see it close if you do not have this o-ring when you spin around if this is in there Without the O-ring, it's going to rub on the mount. The O-ring being in there pushes it out far, far enough. Let me do this, put it back together, and I'll show you. So with the O-ring in there that just disappeared on me, fell into the car somewhere. Let me get another one. go get another one because I didn't feel like searching around the car the o-ring in there it's going to hold it out far enough to where it don't rub so you don't need to sand on this you don't need to sand on the mount just put the o-ring on now you'll see it brings it out far enough to where it don't rub see that so number one the o-ring's not just for looks I've had a lot of guys hit me up man I I must have taken the O-ring off. I didn't even notice it. It does come with it and leave it on there, guys. Now, here's the big problem. I say I only use Saga gears, and there's a reason for that. I've bought an FOB. I've bought a bunch of other brands, and they break on you. So, all I use, all my spools, everything, Saga. You can use a spur gear adapter if you want. You want to use a spur gear adapter. More pieces to break. I don't do it. I just use a pinion. Now, see, there's a different brand other than Saga. There's a lot of them that I have that are broken. But my whole thing is full of Saga gear. So that's all I use. Top-notch gear, I'm not going to change. So if you're using a skinnier one, you may have to put an O-ring or something in there for the space. Take up the space. If you're using a fatter one, then yeah, you might have to sand down th these. They're made for Saga gears. Um, Saga's always got gears in stock. If he don't, he'll get them. They're quality. You're not going to have to worry about it. Buy it once you're done. So, let me throw this bad boy together and I'll show you right now where everybody's messing up at. That's actually too big of an O-ring. Let me grab a smaller one real quick. So this, I was thinking about it, and I said, man, why does everybody think that they got to cut it down and do this? And I came up with it. I know exactly what they're doing. I sat here and played with it a couple days ago, and I said, ah, oh, I'm sorry. I played with it earlier today, but a couple days ago, I got messages, hey, man, it's not working. And he sent me a picture, and I figured it out. And I messed with it today, and that's exactly what it was. So to make this easy, cup inside looks like a cup right you want that towards the back of the car the reason i do it like that is i want the spur gear pinion gear as close to the motor mount as possible or that's how people break their shafts i'm not going to tighten it down yet next i'm going to put my sleeve on there not that o-ring i'm going to put this over oh i'm going to put the bearing on and then i'm going to put the o-ring 
Now, I'll show you what everybody's been doing. This is where everybody's been messing up. So, what they're doing is, let me loosen up the back side because i got to take this off. This is the back cup. I'm just taking it off. This is what everybody's doing. You're taking the cup and you're slamming it all the way down as far as it'll go. Right? And then you're tightening it. And I'll show you what you just did. Let me see if I can... See how the cup's not sitting all the way in the cup, or the dog bone pin's not sitting all the way in the cup? So now you think, oh, the shaft's too long by that much. I got to shave that much off. No. What you need to do is you need to loosen this up, put the dog bone in. Okay, that's how it was. Let's see if I can get better light over here. There we go. You want to slide your dog bone or your cup all the way to where the dog bone seats fully. Okay, don't matter where it sits on your cup. It could sit halfway down, all the way down. It don't matter. The set screw is going to grab no matter what on the flat spot. So we're going to put it in all the way to where it touches the back. Then we're going to slide the cup down until it's snug, but it's still at the back. Okay. All the way down. Then I'm going to take it and hold it like that. And I'm going to tighten this bad boy down. Let me see. I can kind of eyeball it now because I've done it a hundred times. Now, my dog bone is going to sit all the way flush in there. That's what you want. You want your dog bone to sit all the way up in the front, okay? There's a reason for that. Like I said, guys would push it all the way down in there thinking the shaft's too long. Now, with everything pushed towards the back, I got my front cup set. I'm going to shove everything back up. This is one thing I love about Saga pinions. There's two holes in it. So now I can find my flat spot with one hole and then just slide it over to the set screw. Tightened up. And it'll move a little bit. If you're not on the flat spot, once you tighten it down, you'll see your gear move onto that flat spot. Now I'm going to take the rear cup slide it on there and this one go far back whatever it don't really matter that's why i say cup placement guys now one thing i wanted to talk about real quick i've had a couple people tell me that the dog bones are tight going in there this one's all black there's no silver on it the light makes it look like it is after a while they will turn silver It'll wear down. Every cut or dog bone that you own will wear down. The powder coating on the cup will wear down. So if it's kind of tight like this one is, just shove it in. There's like a little stop right there. See? Shove it in. It'll be just fine. Even if it's tight, shove it in. One run, I promise you, it'll wear down just a little bit. Take some of that paint off and it'll fit perfect. But let's go ahead and throw this thing together and see if, it, if that's what happened. Like I said, this isn't my shaft. This is one I just grabbed. Actually, I always start from the front because the angle is the angle in the dangle isn't very good in the front. So I sit it up just like that. Then I take the rear, put it inside the rear cup, slide it into the spool, and give it a nice little push. If you try to spin it like this, it's not going to work because obviously the majority of the weight is towards the rear. So you're going to take your top plate, whether it's Arma or Alza or whatever. Smooth as butter, guys. The back should have a little bit of play. The front should have a little bit of play. Smooth as butter. This is moving, like I said, because of the weight on the back. But if that O-ring's not in there, that set screw is going to sit on the front mount. Now, let me show you what a lot of people were doing. This is why people thought, oh man, it's too long. Jason, the shaft you gave me is way too long. Uh, I'm used to hearing that compliment that my shaft's too long, but 
I don't want to hear it from other RC enthusiasts. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to take MIP 2.0. I'm going to loosen this spur gear up. And I'm going to shoot everything towards the back like so. And I'm going to loosen this cup up and I'm going to shove it all the way back like I think people are doing. To where the dog bone don't sit in there all the way. See that? Big gap. Now watch when we try to install it. I'm not even going to, actually, I'll just leave the gear like that. It's somewhat done. That's our other dog bone. This is the one that we were using the first time. See how it won't go down? It will not go down. And if you try to force it, it's going to bind. There we go. I forced it down. Now look, when I try to spin it, it binds. Let me put this top plate on just like I did before. Binding up. See that? All about cup placement, guys. Now watch what I do. I'm going to take this cup. I'm going to put it towards... I'm going to bring it up that way towards the front of the shaft. And you can eyeball it. Just look inside there. Sorry. Look inside the cup and get the set screw right on the corner. Right on the corner of the shaft. See all that room right there? Now I'm going to slide everything forward. Push it all up. Take the back one here. Slide it down. Check the dog bone. Make sure it seats all the way. It does. See that? That goes all the way down. All the way in, sorry, I'm not even in there. Heard that before too. There we go. Now, let's put it back in here. I know uh, Mr. Earl uh, Morewood, I, I, you know, honestly guys, I, I don't even know him. Um, I don't know a lot of people that aren't in my groups. So I, I don't know him and it's not dogging on him or nothing. Video is very, um, he goes through everything thoroughly, but there you go. Now watch. I just wish some people would call me, man, and just, hey, Jason, it's not working before you start packing on it. See that? All I did is move the cup. And I'm appreciative for people like Earl that gets my product out there. He's uh, purchased some himself. He's getting it out there. So I appreciate that, man. Just if you buy one of my spools, they're $70.00. Or $75 on eBay. If you purchase one of my spools and you're having a hard time, come to this video or message me. I have no problem. All the time I'm getting messages. Jason, how do I do this? Jason, how do I do this? No problem. I'll help you out. You Like I always say, you buy my product, you're part of the Flow Nation, man. That's what we're all about, helping each other out. Now, if you ask me for gearing and stuff, I'll probably send you to uh, another YouTuber that I know that gives out gearing. <laughs> Um, but there you go. Smooth as butter, guys. It's all about cup placement, like I said. So, hopefully this helps some of you guys out that get it. Hopefully, uh, Earl looks back at it and says, damn, man, I didn't even think about it. And that's yesterday when I was trying to look at it, or a couple days ago when someone told me about it earlier today, I was looking at it and I said, you know what? I wonder if I was to slide this all the way back and that's what it was. And it made it seem like the shaft was so long. Now, the sleeves, I don't know why he sanded it down if he's using a Saga gear. I have no idea because they're all the same for all my spools. Everything's the same size. So, um, I don't know, honestly. Now, like I said, if you're using a different gear, an FOB or FOH or whatever it is, um, there's so many different brands out there now. If you're using a different gear, you're going to have to do a little bit of modifications. These are set up for Saga gears only. Um like I said, Saga's always been good to me. He's good to everybody in the hobby. He holds no bias. He don't treat anybody bad. He's just an all-around good guy, and he makes a killer product, so that's what I use. Um, you know, and, and his prices are competitive. You're not going to pay over $25 for a pinion gear, 8 millimeter pin, pinion gear. But there you go, guys. It's the best way right now. I have the shafts coming for the Hobao GTB, Mugen Stretched, Arma Typhon Stretched, and I believe there's one more. They're already being made, so probably tomorrow, the next day, 
uh, hit me up and I'll have them for you guys. Um, now I'm going to show you guys something else real, real quick. So that's my spool, right? I'm going to throw it in without some dog bones real quick. I'll just show you. See how smooth that is? Not very fast though. Actually, this one's wanting to fall forward and I want to do it with both hands. So, this is my small, small spool that I sell for the Armas, Hobals, all that stuff. And I'm going to put it in there. These are brand new bearings. Brand spanking new. This is actually my mock-up spool for when I make them. I know exactly the sizes, where to put the marks, everything. I spun the wheel. What a dumbass. So, actually, I don't need that in. See how it spins? Brand new bearings. Not unbalanced at all. 100% balanced. Let me show you something. Flow juice. Watch this. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's hard to get it in there with the cup. Let it sit. Okay, now watch. The more it gets around the bearing, the better it'll be. This top one, I was hardly able to put some in, so let me give it another drop on the other side. Let that sit for a minute. This bearing grease or juice, flow juice that I got, it's top notch, guys. That's all I use, man. It's really good stuff. I'm not the one who created it or invented it. It was given to me for free. I offered to pay the guy something. And he keeps sending the stuff. And I got a gallon of it right now. Um, guys that are on Team Taff, you guys all know how good this stuff is. Um, I had a homie tell me that he wasn't able to push his car across the floor before. Not even with motor or anything hooked up. He put all the bearings and flow juice. Now it goes right across the floor like nothing. So... All right, that's been sitting way too long. Let's do this. Spin it around like it's supposed to go. Same thing. See, right there, I had it. I don't have the O-ring on this side. I have it on this side. So the little set screw was tapping on there. But night and day difference. Everything that I make is 100% balanced. Everything I make is checked. I, I test it before I send it. I actually have another chassis that I check everything on. So... Like I said, all my stuff's top notch, guys. I'll put a couple of drops inside this. These bearings here. I'll just have to give dude that bought this another spool out of my drawer. Oh no, I'm all out. Good thing I have a gallon to run to. Hmm. Spin that around, get that up in there real good. Look at that. Watch. Just a minute ago, this thing was hardly spinning. Now watch this. It's going to be a little harder to do. I have to put the top plate on. Like I said, the back is a little heavier. Told you, man. This stuff is no joke. Um, So, like I said, my spools without the gear are 75 bucks or something on eBay. Um, best thing that's out right now. I tried all the different dog bones for this thing. I tried the eight millimeter steel, the eight millimeter, eight millimeter titanium, everything. And now Arma came out with some new two bearing thing right there that I don't think is going to hold up, but whatever. Um, especially to drag racers or speed runners. When you're at that high speed, it's only holding two directions. It's going to flop. I guarantee it. We'll see though. But, uh, there you go, guys. Just wanted to get that out there. Um, so that way, whoever's going to install it now knows the right way to do it. Um, thank you for everybody out there that's supporting Flow Packs, that supports the products, that supports the cat packs. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, there was something. One, two. I'll do it on the next video. Actually, do I have it up here somewhere? So I have some new spools coming. These ones right here, not 100% done yet. They're made out of teal aluminum. 
which is the strongest aluminum there is before it starts going to titanium and stuff like that. Ultra, ultra light, super light. Um, that spool right there, I have one more in my infraction. Been beating the hell out of it all week long, making sure it's going to hold up. I mean, it's eight millimeter and it's only a certain amount that long, so it's not going to bend very easy at all. But before I send anything out, I want to torture test it. I was going to go out there and put some, uh, uh, I have some tire sauce. It's Coford's extra sticky or something. I'm going to have to ruin a set of BSRs because I don't drag race that much. I'm going to have to ruin a set of BSRs, put it on there and go launch a couple times to make sure it's going to hold. And then I'll send it out there. Anything that makes our driveline uh, lighter is the way to go, guys. So I got those. I got the hoe valves. Everything's coming, man. Be patient with me. I got you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for always uh, supporting. I'm going to put this back in there now. Remember, my sit flush. Cup placement every time. You guys are going to see this and laugh because that's exactly what I told so many people. Cup placement. Think about it like this. You're running out on a football field and you got your jock strap turn sideways just a little bit you know that feeling it ain't right you need cut placement smooth as butter guys all right guys thank you god bless stay safe in these we weird times man keep your face mask on keep your family safe because that's what's number one i'm out Peace.